Honey, food. it is wakey wakey time. Yep. And we are hungry for some food. I think we're gonna go check out Emeralds, yeah. which is a upcharge, mm. slight upcharge pay option, but they have some really good breakfast items and we're gonna go eat them. <laughs> That's true, yeah, it's like just a pay per item type yep. of thing. All so card. let's go. Yeah. Bam! Bam. Emerald. <laughs> Morning, friend. Morning. Um, this is Numa. Oh, where's your face? <gasps> you don't even have a face. Numa, Numa. <laughs> Up to deck six. All oh, right here by the Latitudes Bar, they've got the Santa mailbox and the paper. What are you wishing for? A football? A pony? More fun vacations? Cute. Welcome to Emerald's Bistro, 1397. We got omelets being made. I saw some waffles coming out, some shrimp and grits. There is the breakfast menu officially. I guess every item is six dollars, and they don't have regular coffee here, I don't think, but they have the specialty coffees. Oh, they've also got this Taste the World special. It's not a breakfast, but it changes every day for like lunch and dinner type service. Nice. So we placed our order. They give you a number to put on the table so that they can bring you your food, and we just gonna camp out here by the window. Whoops, there's our number. We are number 15. There's a little closer look at the special. So, $10 charcuterie board, $10, uh, $15 steak au poivre, and a $5 crepe trio. They also did have the beignets on the breakfast menu for $5, so we might have gotten some of those. We've begun our journey with iced lattes. Spin for dramatic effect. They brought a carafe of water for the table as well, and the beignets have arrived. Six big old beignets. I'm not even sure what the sauces are. There's chocolate a... and strawberry. Oh, you're very smart. I read. Oh, I, I, I don't. <laughs> you right, do. Let's dig in. Oh, all right. So one thing we learned in New Orleans is don't breathe right before you eat a beignet. You have to like, I mean, take a big breath and then hold it. I, I guess I'll try strawberry. Okay. Wherever your heart guides you. That's right. See, this is the part where you don't breathe. Then you cover, uh -huh, you cover your mouth so you, yeah? And there you go. It's light and pillowy. I'm just talking like this, sorry. Right. And then there's the sweetness with the sugar on top. Just like, you know, a normal vinegar. It's not heavy. I like that. And this sauce adds a nice flavor. There's my food review. Wow. Oh, there was a partial announcement <laughs> coming in. Nope. There's a certain nostalgia for me for these beignets. They've got a little bit of that. You see, when I was a kid, we used to do the canned biscuits in the Fry Daddy type of thing, and they've got that feel to them. Not quite, because like the, the Cafe du Monde beignets were a little, I guess, denser, and they felt a little more homemade. Not that these are bad. I really like these because they've got that nostalgia factor, but think canned biscuit, Fry Daddy, powder sugar. <laughs> Yep, yeah, hits me right in the childhood. Oh. So I got the Creole omelet, I believe was the official word from a breakfast, and it comes with, hopefully those are those sweet potato fries, a little tomato, and some greenery. Not sure what's in a Creole omelet. Maybe uh, andouille and cheese and stuff. Maybe shrimp. Ooh, close up food goodness. All right, well there is officially what comes in this omelet. Dee is dancing because she has gone for shrimp and grits, which is one of our favorite things. Ever. Um, pretty much ever, yeah. It's always so good. Yeah. So exciting. <laughs> Feast. Fun fact, the filling of my omelet kind of tastes a little bit like the shrimp and grits, so I've got some of that flavor in my breakfast. We're having a good time at Emerald's today. <laughs> So about $28, including the automatic gratuities for breakfast. Not too bad for this deliciousness. Sounds like they're doing some work there somewhere. Uh, we're gonna have a seat here in the SUM booth and knock out some quick work this morning. We have come up to the Lido deck for some exploration now. They do have the hand washing stations, which is cool. Beverage stations, buffet stations. This one's closed, but the one over there appears to be open. Ooh, looks like they might be running two different sets of food on both sides of the buffet. This side has some rice and some fish and pasta stuff. Oh, we've got salad bar cutting here through the middle and desserts. Also got the shawarma station, which looks to be closed. Gelato, hot dogs are up here. They are also kind of closed unless it's just one-sided today. Big 
beverage station over there, and of course out to the main pool. Coming out to the exterior Lido now. Oh, that's right, this is the bottom level of the two level tiki bar. And the pool, of course. Oh, said pool is closed right now, which is interesting. A little booths, big old hot tub. Oh, this is the seafood shack and the street eats corner over here. So time fries, this changes every day. Today's special is Puebla chicken fries. Steam dream, they've got sesame chicken wontons happening. And then we've got shummy kebabs at Mad Sizzle. I don't really see any folks out here right now. Now it is about 12.30 and we are on a port day, so I'm not sure D is checking the schedule. Maybe they just have that reserved as a sea day option? Well, confirmed, closed today. All right. There is the burritos over there on the other side of the world. Let's jump up a deck. Lots of cool cozy chairs and stuff up here. There's the other level of Red Frog. Big old screen. Oh, and the sporting stuff. Well, we can get a few peeks at Amber Cove today. Like I said earlier, we did take a work morning, so we are bypassing Amber Cove. I think back on board is in about three hours. We could hop off and head to the pool, but you know. Be back at some point. <laughs> we were hearing in the Facebook group that they canceled a lot of the snorkel excursions through the ship, I guess, because of the sea conditions, so that probably made a few more people head over to that pool. I think we're the only ship in, but it's probably a little crowded pool over there today. <laughs> Not over there. That's the ocean that we're looking at right now. <laughs> yeah, over there somewhere. That's where it is, in that general direction. <laughs> Ooh, looks like the sky bar is up and running. Usually when we're here, it's not functional. So good to see folks up there enjoying the sky bar. Let's jump up to deck 18. Oh yes, the ultimate playground neighborhood. So this brings us up to the jogging track area. We got a nice little beanbag toss zone. Pang pong and or table tennis, whatever you want to call it. Multi-use sports court. Ah, we were trying to figure out how you access this area. So they have a gate. Here they got water fountains. So they got a box on the wall where you can get your ping pong paddles and your balls. Oh, we're going against what we normally do and we're walking the correct way on the path. Oh, I like this when you come out this door here, which I think there's elevators in there. It shows you which way to turn. I <laughs> like sports court. Who cares? Water works both ways. Mini golf both ways. But, <laughs> some of the ropes course and they do still have that little zip line segment where you kind of start over there and you go zzz and land over here cool and the gate is locked right now so we can't get up to the ropes course foosball let's continue walking afterly you can't really navigate on this deck without following the path here so i guess you have to walk with intent there's no there's no leisurely walking on this deck i'll be blocking somebody Cute little outdoor beds. I guess these are just first come, first serve. Mm -hmm. Chill out. I like the color. Oh my gosh, I just looked up and I realized we were next to the big fat funnel. All right, here's all. Wow. That's our view for now. That's all we can fit on the screen. <laughs> so seven laps to a mile. <laughs> I hear water coming up to a splash zone, maybe. Ooh, yes, water slides. Three of them, right? Orange, blue, and yellow. See, I know my colors. Splash zone. Chairs. And here in the very back, we've got the mini golf and of course, Bolt the roller coaster, which I have not heard anyone go by, so I assume she is closed today or there's just no interest right yeah. now. Let's get a pan of this whole water park, yes. Ultimate playground officially. And there's where you grab your golf balls and your putters and just put away. I think they've got, I feel like it's nine holes back here. Because there's this side and then there's this side. Yeah, that's, there's no way that's 18. So that's got to be a nine hole golf course. Then we come up to these aft stairs, which we can take our pick. And oh, that's right. Where are we going to be heading? Guys. Oh, 
Oh, this no, looks. Wait, no. Oh, that's the hot it tub. Looks like there's two pools, but it's just the shallow part. Yeah, hot tub, pool, hot tub back there. We're looking at it through glass right now, but let's get down there and see it. There's a little seating zone on 17. Yeah, it is warm out here today. Thank you. Guess let's continue downward. Yeah, there's a few folks back there, so we won't linger on them too long. We'll just linger on Amber Cove some more. <laughs> Moving back toward the front of the ship, we've got this little area that's part of Club 02. Kind of a nice little outdoor lounge, which is cool. That is for ages 15 to 17. Oh, I'm so close. So close. In your dream. <laughs> Actually, no, I don't want you to think you did that. Gross. Ah, oh, yes, the guy's burger joint, which is one deck above the pool deck. Very large, but kind of hard to find because I'm so used to it being by the pool. Oh wait, I have to examine this scandalous stuff. All right, yes, can confirm. No bacon, no mushrooms. I'd been heard, hearing rumors and legends that such things had happened. Anything else that you guys noticed missing? Mm. Right here by guys, they got coffee, beverages, self-serve ice cream. Oh yeah, we had heard that they have, ah, they do have the funky cones on here. I'm gonna have to get one. Yeah, is that just because they stopped up uh, In the UK. across the pond, as it were? So they're using those till they run out, and then they'll probably go back to traditional. There we go. I feel so European with my little ice cream cup cone. So cute. <laughs> that has brought us up to the top part of the Red Frog Tiki Bar. Two stories of goodness. And of course, that will bring us back to the pool. Let us jump back down. Not jump, you know, we'll take the stairs. We wandered over here to the area outside where the pizza and the deli is, near the uh, Bar 820, I think is the name, just to try to get a video uploaded for tomorrow. Ship's Wi-Fi is being a little struggle struggle, so we bought a day pass for Dominican Republic, and um, the data seems to be holding up pretty good for now. He has gone to the deli to retrieve some lunch, so I got a meatball sandwich, and you got a carne sandwich. Yep. They have like five new sandwiches Whoa. that are all kind of like Cuban themed, I would say. Okay. Um, because of the Miami area. So that's kind of cool. We'll have to go look at that. True. Wow. Good Hello. evening. We are ready for afternoon and evening excitement. We are indeed. Now, we've gotten ready for dinner a little early we're doing a weird plan we had lunch late super late yeah. um tonight's show mm -hmm. besides family feud is majestic circus is majestic? that what it's called magnificent majestic. magnificent it's, it's something circus it's the circus show i would tell you but i don't have no, my phone right now that's it let's call it the circus show Correct. the and new one we've been told that you need to get there pretty early if yep. you want a good seat. And being that we like to show things to you. We want good seats. We like good seats. <laughs> so it's about 4.30. <laughs> the show is at 7.30. That sounds terrible. Um, we are going to postpone our dinner until after the show. Right. But I've got some more editing to do I and stuff work. like that. And so we can take our work up mm -hmm. to a happy little table and wait for this show to start. Yeah. So the floor seats like down where we sat mm -hmm. yesterday um, those won't open until i think 45 minutes before the show yeah maybe even a little bit earlier than that um yeah, they rope them off but the top seats i think are going to be open so that's what we're going to go sit and post and work yeah. right now so, so we'll see we'll let you know how it goes yeah we'll keep you updated as to how crowded it gets now granted like i said there's family feud going on at yeah. the same time there's what two i think there's two circuses tonight and there's two family feuds tonight and then there's another day with the circus which doesn't have anything competing with it Ooh. so that might be the one that a lot of people are going to go to so maybe it's not that bad and it just depends on if your ship is a show ship or not like the oh, people yeah, on it want to see shows well, we we've do. had both so so we're gonna let you know how it goes yeah let's get out of here okay <laughs> Oh, there's a giant seat we could sit in. Oh, they're doing rehearsals right now. What? Ooh, sneak peek. All right. Well, we won't watch too much of this just yet, but looks like some cool stuff is going to be going on. So we have settled in on deck seven, and we are not the only crazy people. There are probably 20 or 30 people who appear to be staking out spots about three hours before showtime, so... We're not that crazy, are we? 
I managed to score the last little table up here on deck seven. We're watching to see if there's any motion so we can be a little more centered because right now <laughs> we're by the spotlight. But I think that's okay. We can see most of the contraptions that are up in the sky. I'm holding down a separate table over here because it was closer to an electrical outlet, which I need right now, and there are none that we can find up there. How are we all feeling? We're just going to do a quick side check for our production shows this evening. The most magnificent suckers. I think the sound is working. So, the most magnificent circus. That's the official name. So, one hour ahead of showtime, they're going to open the floor. There is no pushing. There is no running. There is no shoving. business and they only open the stanchions from the sides not the back there we go so folks flowing in from both sides now filling in the floor oh it's about 10 minutes till showtime we've got some characters milling about it's almost time
are heading back to Summer Landing because we need some dinner. Well, that is the emptiest. Oh, is that from Ecstasy? Oh, Ecstasy Art. Uh huh. I was about to say, this is the emptiest I've seen guest services. Yo, we saw this art in the hallways on Ecstasy. Maybe people didn't take it. <laughs> they didn't rip that off the wall. There are little surprises all over this ship, and that's amazing. Welcome to the barbecue. There is our menu, so you've got either your meats or your world favorites. Oh, and they do have the Thunder Tots. We have not been on a ship with those yet. We got the Upchargy Dudes, sides, desserts, kids menu. Oh, the band is kicked up back here. Yay! Yeah. those bad boys if we can get them in focus. Yeah, there we go. Beans, collards, coleslaw. Oh, right as the song ends. So it's tater tots. Oh, they just fell over. Cold pork, onions, jalapenos, cheese. It's deconstructing before our eyes in like a little tart shell. For dessert, D has gone apple and I have gone bananas. Ooh, they got fun stuff in the fun shop. This keeps changing, I see, and it does different things depending on where you step on it. Oh, let's see what it does now. There you go. So you walk on it and it moves the bolt stuff around. Wow. I mean, that's just a fun way to enter the store, right? The logo gear shop. It's not very big, but they got some cool stuff. Oh, they got a celebration oh, inaugural season hat. That is a freaking fancy jacket, isn't it? Ooh, ship models. I guess that's the shirts. That looks like a shirt selection, maybe. Yeah. Inaugural season shirts. I don't know how much the models are. True, I don't see a price sign on the models. They got funnel headbands. Huh. Let's jig over here to this little elevator lobby and put these backpacks away finally. We're done working, aren't we? <laughs> we're gonna drop back by the cabin, but we're not gonna stay in the cabin. Well, we have come back to the cabin to find a nice little towel friend with gigantic googly eyes. What shall his name be? Goo, 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 goo. No. I, don't know. I got nothing. I got nothing. <laughs> And we're back out in the world. Now Reggie is playing at the Golden Jubilee. I think the circus is going on again. Oh, I see it's almost time for the circus. Not quite. So family feud is going on right now too. We're curious to see if this has lightened up Eden's load at all. To hang on that Eden is popular, but of course we knew that. We've sailed with Eden before. Well, I guess maybe we'll come in here and catch Family Feud then. Can't record it, but hey, it's fun. Ooh, all right, that's as much of it as we can record, y'all. We can at least take a peek at the set before they start the thing, right? So here's where we will be, and we will see you after it's over. Good night. Good night. We are back in the cabin after Family Feud. That's always fun. So what have we been doing? I don't even know. We um, worked and sat and waited oh, yeah. for a show for a long time. Oh, a long time. <laughs> it was so long time. let's jump back to the circus. It was a great show. Definitely mm. um, a step up in Carnival Entertainment. Not yeah. that their stuff is ever bad, but it definitely is like, you don't normally see aerialists and things like that. It and took it to new heights. It was awesome, yeah. Okay. And the screens were really, really cool and fit the theme. And then they did like some cool tricks. And then the singing and dancing was amazing as well. Yeah. I really like the song choices. They all fit the theming really well. Yeah, I will true. say, we definitely have a love-hate relationship with Center Stage. Oh, we've talked about that on Mardi Gras, about how unless you're on uh, the floor on deck six, you run across people who are not really invested in the show, and they just yakka, yakka, yakka. Well, no, but... Not even in this case. No, so we had seats on deck. For three hours, seven, no right, Really good seats, you know, as best as they could be. And then people, obviously looking for seats, stand behind you. Yeah, like right when the show starts, they start gathering behind you. And talking. 
talking and talking and talking about what they think of the show and blah, 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 wow. and just things that don't make yeah. sense. And I'm like, you guys, are you watching the show or are you here to talk behind us? So don't be those people. That's our PSA to you. I don't think you guys are, but just be aware that people are sitting there watching the show. Are you those people? <laughs> Don't be. It's frustrating when you have to say something. It's like you know, then you're the mean person. We did. But we you're had not to, the mean person. <laughs> no, we had to. Um, we had to tell a lady all yeah. about it, and um, it was exciting. Anyway, um, she left. that has nothing to do with the show. The show is no. great, but it did kind of take away some of the enjoyment for us, unfortunately. But yeah. um, that's not Carnival's fault or the show's fault. That it's that lady. Fault. That daggone lady, she was laughing. It was still amazing, though. Yeah. Um, and then we went to Guy's for a smokehouse yeah. thing, and the food was really Solid, good. And then yeah. Thunder Tots were delicious. Yeah, this, the food was good. The portions are a little teeny, they are like on the small. meat part. Like the chicken was like, you know, looked like a quail. Yeah, but when you when you pay good. for smokehouse, like on yeah. Horizon, um, Panorama, stuff like that, mm -hmm. that's pay, right? Those are bigger portions, mm -hmm. but the free ones on Mardi Gras celebration, the portions. I'm sure you could ask for more. You could. could, but it was good. Like, like what we had. Give me three chicken. <laughs> yeah. But food was good overall, and then tots, really man. Good. So that burger and those tots are approved. Mm -hmm. That's it, the family feud. Can't so. show it to you. Lee is always so great, and he's he's so fun with the audience, even when yeah. things don't go quite right. He I just know. plays it off. I love him so much. Yeah, but now we're back in the yeah. cabin. Yo, we Sweet. will see you tomorrow. Yep. Yeah. We got to be in, where are we at? San Juan. Puerto Rico. All right, well, San Juan tomorrow. <laughs> yes. Good night. See you then. Bye.